Show up and say to me. You are Joshua generation. Hallelujah. You are Joshua generation. You know that when God gives you the word, God never gives explanation. You never give explanation. It's up to you to go and to find out what he meant. That's why even as we are sitting here, your life has a meaning. Amen. But it's up to you to go back to the Lord and say, what is the purpose of my life? Just worship him, just worship him. Worship him. Worship your maker. He's God by himself. Hallelujah. Oh, let the people cry. Hallelujah. Let the people sing. He's God by himself. He's the king of all kings. He is the creator. And he is alive. He is well and alive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. God is in this place. God is in this place. The maker, the creator is in this place. The alpha and the omega is in this place. The great I am is in this place. Hallelujah. You can feel him. There is no shadow of doubt about it. your hand together to that great God and shout tonight. I want you to shout. I want you to shout. Hallelujah. Jesus. You may be seated. How many of you believe we have to do this one more time again? Maybe crown will be too small way to go to MCG. Uh, do you believe that? Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Just, uh, can, can we just uh, let there be light? Can we have a light? We want to see each other. Just uh, thank you very much. Whoa, the place is full. We love God. We are in uh, 1912. I just have just uh, 10 heavy minutes and then we'll continue because uh, uh, you, the roof has to come down. 1912, uh, a big ship was uh, built, uh, very big and large. You can never guess. Titanic. And uh, on the 10th, of April 1912, somewhere in England, that big ship supposed to go, take its journey to go to New York. And uh, 
The funny thing about that, that big boat, the architect, Thomas, the one who built it, when was asking questions and uh, he said to the uh, journalist, this boat, it is unsinkable boat. And if, in fact, even God himself cannot sink it. That's what he said on the news. And uh, they are telling us even before them to, to, to start the journey, they receive six warnings. That's on the 11th when they left, started going to France. And uh, they go to an uh, island. And from the island, they have now to go straight away to, to New York. And uh, the captain of the ship was a uh, more experienced one, Edward Smith. And uh, the captain, Edward, that was his last trip to go to New York. And when he come back, he will retire. That's what he's promised to his wife. This is my last trip. I'm going, I'm coming back. That's it. And then uh, the journey, I can see people kissing goodbye. Kumbaya, I'll see you. I'll send you the postal card. On the 11th, they receive six warnings. On the 12th, they receive five warnings. That there is some ice on the way. On the 13th, they received three warnings. And on the 14th, as they were going, 20 minutes before the accident, one ship was just standing by California. The operator of that ship sent seven messages to Titanic. And the problem is the Titanic operator was busy doing business, receiving messages from for, the, for the passenger and sending messages. And this is the message he sent back to the other ship, to the operator. Say, shut up, shut up, I'm busy. That night, 14th of April, 1912, at 11.40, exactly, the big ship, unseekable ship, even God cannot sink, hit the iceberg. And we know the story. And uh, because that ship, they believe and they thought that is unseekable, they only put 20 lifeboats. So half. And uh, from that accident, 1,517 died in the cold water. And tonight I'm not here to talk to you about the ship or the Titanic. But uh, just in fact, if you are visiting the planet Earth, I want to tell you that uh, the Earth is a Titanic right now. The Earth we are living today, we are sending our children to school, but we are not sure they will come back home. People are going to the concert like this, but they, we don't know if you come back home. And I have a bad news for you tonight. No secret agent of Australia, no police of Australia can stop the devil. No FBI, no power on earth can stop the devil to operate. And you, you're, even in your life, you're not to show, you will see tomorrow. Watch news. The earth is sinking. 
And when I was uh, doing my research, the guy was doing the research about the Titanic. He came up with a conclusion of three things happened that night. He said this. Captain Smith, he was aware of all those warnings, but he didn't slow the ship down. It was a full power going because he has to keep up with the schedule. Why he didn't slow down? He was busy. And the second conclusion, the operator from the other ship who sent the warning, according to the ship staff, when you are sending a serious message, you have to put a code. MCG, that was the code. But he didn't put the code. Maybe that's why uh, Philip, the operator of Titanic, ignored the warning. And the third conclusion, Philip was more busy doing business than be concerned about the warning. My beloved, the earth is sinking. And tonight, I'm calling you out. Don't ignore the warnings. On that, Titanic received 21 warnings, but they didn't pay attention. I'm sure you already heard about Jesus. Your friend told you about Jesus. And you busy keep on forgetting the warning. Jesus is the only way. Is the only truth. Is the only life. I don't believe in God too bad. It's too late because God does exist. You not believing in God will not delete the existence of God. Not believing in something will not make that thing be, uh, disappear. Oh, I don't see God. You don't see air, but you are breathing, don't you? God so loved the world. And he sent his only begotten son. God didn't send the church. God didn't send the pastor, the pope. He sent Jesus to save you, you tonight. I know you came for the concert, but God has you in mind. Tonight is your night. No one can see God except through Jesus. He died on that cross just for you. Many people will go to hell for free. Why for free? Because the price was already paid. You don't need to go there. Accept the price. And Jesus is the price. Tonight, and as I'm standing here, is your night. There is a life after death. In fact, all of us here will live forever. Everyone born, everyone, those are dead, living, will die. All of us will live forever. But the question is this, where? Where are you going to live forever? There are only two places, hell and heaven. Tonight, Jesus is calling you. And I'm calling all the backslider. You knew God before. But for, for any reasons, you drop the ball. God is calling you back tonight. Tonight is your night. And I would ask you to do something very bold if you really mean business with God. The, the Bible says, if you are ashamed of me, in the presence of men. I, God, I'll be also ashamed of you in the presence of my angels. Oh, people will see me. My brother, my sister, I, I, I prefer people to see you tonight than people to see you later in hell. That will be too late. 
Are you bold enough? Jesus said, I love you. Maybe you say, preacher, I'm not worthy. Yes, you are not worthy. That's why Jesus died for you. You say, preacher, I can't live this life. Yes, yes, you can't because he wants to live it through you. Are you going to accept that Jesus tonight? I'm calling you from back to forth. If you die tonight, you will know to show where you are going. Tonight we can fix it. Jesus is the way. If you want to give your life to Jesus, you want that, just lift up your hand. Lift up your hand where you are. Lift up those hands. Lift up hands. I can't see this light is too high. I see some light. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The hand is up. The hand is up. The hand is up. The hand is up. Ashas, can you please give the salvation card to the, the people who lift up their hand, please, Asha? Keep the hands up. They give you cards. Fill them up and give back to Asha. Ashas, please. Keep on clapping. This is a big miracle. Keep on clapping. This is a miracle. This is a miracle. The Asha, they are coming. Just lift those hands. Asha's here. Give people the cards. Keep contact with us. We'll take you to the process. Hallelujah. I'm so happy, even if it was just for one soul. Yeah. Hallelujah. And somebody shout yeah. for God. Thank you. Yeah, keep all those hands up. As the Asha, 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 you are slow. Asha, you are slow. Here in the middle, there are a lot of hands. Give those hands. Hallelujah. I know they are pressing me, but these things was not in the program, but I feel right now we have to do this. Pastor Keith, can you come, please? Pastor Graham, Pastor Bumi, Mama, Pastor Peter, Pastor Allen, Pastor Salesi, come, come, please. Come here, join me here. We need to make a, we have to make a public declaration in Australia for Jesus. Australia for Jesus. Australia for Jesus. Australia for Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just uh, Pastor Salesi, come, come pray. Come pray. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful night. Especially those God who receive the challenge to accept you, to believe in you, to follow you. Holy Ghost, I pray God that you minister to them and touch them so that they may encounter you, Lord God, like never before even at this very moment. Touch your people, Father. So powerful to come to pound the Grand Casino and see people still coming, still accepting the call to repentance. Thank you for the sound of heaven in this place. As we're touching heaven, something happening here on earth, God. And I declare your blessings and I pray, Holy Ghost, that you minister in a powerful way, God, that each person in this place walk out from this place, touch, changed by the power of your grace. Father, we declare and we speak the blessings of God over every single soul in the house, God. We declare victory in this place. Hallelujah, God. This is the house of God. This is the place of worship. And we thank you for your presence tonight. Thank you for the touch of your grace. We love you. We love you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Put your hands together and thank God for His grace. Pastor Keith, come pray for Australia. Declare that this land, Jesus Christ is the Lord. When this building was built, a, new, a, a saying was said by the then Premier of the state, Jeff Kennedy, he said, a new spirit is in town. He, no, it's not that good. He said it was a spirit of gambling. Tonight, Lord, yes. we claim back this territory. Yes. We claim back this 
promised land, we claim back this country. It's all green around the outside and the harder. It gets harder and harder as you go into the middle. And there's a rock in the middle of this land. It, it's like the people. The people need their heart turned to a heart of flesh. The land needs the Holy Spirit upon it. And tonight, Holy Spirit, we call you in. And we say, we claim back our land. We claim back this territory. We claim back this place. In Jesus' name, amen. It will be written in the archive of Grand Casino that one day Christian people they came they invade the place if you still don't know since this grand existed there was no in Christian activities so you and us we are the first to make it Pastor Bumi, praise God for that. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for tonight. I thank you because this is the day you have made. And we choose to rejoice and we are glad in it. The singers of the music and the players of instruments of music have played and you have come down with your glory in the midst of your people. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But we trust in the name of the Lord. Father, we arise tonight in your name in this place. Every negative spirit all around this place we cancel now in the name of Jesus. Father, from center to circumference, we bind any power that is not of you, Lord. We uproot right from the road. Any power that is not of God, we thank you for doing business in our midst tonight. We thank you for souls that have been saved tonight. We thank you for the victory that has been wrought tonight. We thank you for every good thing that you have done for us tonight, Lord. For every man in this place, for every woman in this place, Father, we give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. We thank you because a line is being drawn tonight. We thank you because today is the fifth. Five is the number of grace. We thank you for the grace that you've showered upon each and every one in this place. We thank you for this generation, this Joshua generation, that we will be bold, that we will not cower before men. We will be bold because we trust in the name of our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because we'll be the light in the dark place. We'll carry the torch and move forward. We'll be enlisted in the army of God. We will move forward because you have not called us to battle, but you have called us to victory. We thank you, Lord, for the victory that you gave us on the cross. We receive it now for everybody, Lord. In Jesus' name and all of God's people shout amen. Shout Amen! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that we know that your word says it is in the place of sacrifice as we bow down before your holy name, Lord Jesus, that your presence and your power and your life would be known. And Lord, as people are reaching out to you in faith tonight, those that have responded to you for the first time, others that are here tonight that have reaffirmed their commitment to you, and others, Lord God, on your house that are living it day by day. As we come before you and honor you and declare our praise of you, may it be that you would fill the heart and life of each person. Lord, may we declare this is holy ground here in this place tonight where your presence would be known, where lives would be changed, and, oh, Father God, where a movement would begin that would touch the lives of many, many people. In Jesus' name, we bring you glory, we bring you honor, and we bring you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.
Just before us to go back to the music, I want to honor one person. He is my friend. He is also my big brother. He is also my pastor. We call him BRP. Pastor Peter Bondole. I want you to pray. Release the anointing. He's also at one of our advisors of uh, Joshua Generation Ministries. Amen. I will ask you to give me a favor. Can you just stand up, please? You know, I believe that together we are Christian. And uh, when God brought us in this place, there is a reason and a purpose. The casino is where a lot of people, they lost their life. Their marriage are broken. The family are destroyed for what's happening in this place. And now God allow you and I to come here to bring the light and the life. And I would like you to declare this with me. As a man of God, we are already pray. But we are declaring from this day and this night. Casino is in the center of Melbourne. And you and I tonight, we are standing together here. This place is more for fun. But you and I, we are bringing gospel in this area. And I want you and I to do something. Believe for your declaration right now. Have begun to proclaim that as you and I, we are standing here. We are bringing light and the light in this place. Mm. The life shall not be lost mm. again. The marriage shall not be broken again. The relationship shall not be broken again. We are speaking life in the nation of Australia. Straight up your hand. Have begun to pray for this nation. We are praying together. Let me hear your voice now. You declare, I give you time, one minute. You declare for Australia, proclaim that Jesus is the Lord of this nation. We are standing together and we are declaring from tonight. We are speaking life in this place. We are speaking restoration in this place. We are claiming the land of Australia back under the control of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, the reason, reason you brought us together in this house, we are here to declare and we are here to proclaim from tonight you are the Lord in Australia. You are the Lord in Melbourne. We are here to declare you are the Lord and you are the King of Kings. We are breaking it down. We are resting in your position in the name of Jesus. Let your light shine from this place to the rest of Australia. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God say, Amen. May God bless you. Amen. Big shout to our God. <laughs>